Hello and welcome. This is Redemption Road and you're following us on our journey to build our farm here in Montana. This week we're going to cover uh, the Mission Valley from Polson all the way down to St. Ignatius. So come along as we do our travels. The Mission Valley is located in northwestern Montana in Lake County. The Mission Valley encompasses the southern half of Flathead Lake and a natural valley formed by 10,000 foot peaks of the Mission Mountains. The Mission Valley also includes the Flathead Indian Reservation, which is home to the consolidated Salish and Kootenai tribes. Polson lies in a natural amphitheater on the south end of Flathead Lake. This charming lakeshore community is a trading center for one of the most fertile farming areas in Montana. The prime cherry growing region is home to dozens of orchards, which Polson celebrates with its annual cherry festival. In Polson, you can go jump in the lake, rent a sailboat, canoe, speedboat, or jet ski, and have some fun on the Flathead Lake. Downtown Polson is the site of many other festivities throughout the year, as well as the site of Polson's Farmer's Markets. But in addition, it is the county seat of Lake County and the town that I currently live in as we build our farm. Polson's transition from a regional commercial and trade center to a resort community occurred primarily during the later half of the 20th century. The development of lakeshore homes in earnest began in the late 50s and 60s, particularly by people from surrounding communities like Missoula and Kalispell. The drive from Polson down to Mission is only about 26 miles total, but it's probably one of the most scenic drives that you can have. Just a short drive down the highway, we come to the town of Pablo. Carrying a hearty legacy, Pablo was named for tribal member Michael Pablo, a rancher and stockman who played a role in saving the bison of Montana from extinction. The Salish Kootenai College was also established here in 1977. It has a library that holds an extensive collection of history books about Native American tribes. It is also the headquarters of the Flathead Indian Reservation 
tribal council, and tribal police. One of my favorite cities along Highway 93 is the town of Ronan, which reminds me of many farm communities I grew up around in California. Originally settled by Salish residents in 1883, this town was called Spring Creek for the local warm springs that flowed into the nearby Flathead River. Residents changed the name of Ronan Springs in 1893 as a tribute to Major Peter Ronan, who served the Flathead Indian Reservation Agency from 1877 until his death in 1893. Ronan experienced a sudden boom when the federal government opened the Flathead Indian Reservation to non-Indian homesteading in 1910. Adorned with the beauty of the Mission Mountains and various sources of fishing and wildlife habitat, the community of more than 3,000 residents offers a wealth of resources and enjoyment. Then we head down south on 93 to find two wildlife refuges. Pablo National Wildlife Refuge is just west of Pablo, while the while Nine Pipe National Wildlife Refuge is just a few miles south of Ronan. The Nine Pipe Refuge is home to more than 180 species of waterfowl and other birds. Nine Pipe and Pablo National Wildlife Refuge is an exceptional wetland complex that contains over 800 glacial potholes and a 1,770 acre reservoir. Having a hunting area for upland gay birds within minutes of my house was a major draw for me as well. Rich in history and native culture, San Ignatius, affectionately referred to as Mission by locals, is a town of about 842 people. The town was named for and the site of the St. Ignatius Mission, established by Belgian Jesuit Catholic missionary Father Pierre Jean de Smet. This church, established in 1854, has 58 impressive murals inside of its walls and ceilings. Perhaps even more impressive is the fact that the man who painted them all, Brother Joseph Caradano, was a member of the kitchen staff with no formal art training.
Finally, we turn west on the Highway 200 at Ravalli and head to the National Bison Range. The Bison Range was established in 1908 and is one of the oldest wildlife refuges in the United States. It was created to serve as a refuge for American bison. The refuge is that relatively large, standing at 18,500 acres. There you'll find a herd of more than 400 American bison, as well as elk, antelope, mule deer, bighorn sheep, and white-tailed deer. Hopefully, you enjoy this little drive down Highway 93 to explore the beauty of the Mission Valley, where I call home. If you like videos like this, please like and subscribe for more as we continue our journey to create a simpler life.